Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So as you can tell from the title, I am gonna be showing you guys what's on my iPhone, but Christmas edition. I wanted to give you guys some inspo for your own layout and theme for your guys' phones. And all the photos that I used to design my phone with will be on a Pinterest board along with some other cute Christmassy holiday photos that fit the vibe as well so I'm gonna have that link in the description box down below for you guys if you want to go check that out but yeah I'm really excited I love my phone layout so much I went with like kind of a Christmassy pink and red vibe and I just really love how it turned out so I'm so excited to show you guys but first before we get started I want to talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing today huge shout out and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video I'm wearing these super cute key earrings these two necklaces I'm obsessed with this heart one so much and all of my rings are also from Ana Luisa I work with Ana Luisa so much on my channel and I absolutely love their company if you guys haven't heard of them Ana Luisa is an online sustainable jewelry brand and they create super cute high quality jewelry their goal is to make conscious luxury accessible to everyone and they're extremely extremely environmentally conscious. Like I said, they're sustainable and they use things like gold-plated brass, gold-plated sterling silver, and lab-grown diamonds to be as sustainable as possible. And they also use sustainable packaging, 100% recycled cardboard, and things like that to reduce their carbon footprint and make sure that they're environmentally friendly. They have so many different pieces on their website. They have a ton of cute necklaces bracelets, rings, earrings, and they also have a bunch of different styles to choose from. So whether you like dainty jewelry or more statement pieces, they have everything on their website. All of their jewelry is handcrafted in the US and France, and all their pieces are tarnish-free, long-lasting, and include premium details. Right now they're running a huge holiday sale. You can get anything on their website, buy one, get one 60% off, and I definitely recommend recommend you go check out their website because these jewelry pieces would make amazing holiday presents. So yeah, huge shout out and thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. All of their links and everything will be in the description box down below and I really hope you guys go and check them out. So yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into the video. Okay, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna do a quick little overview so you guys can see what's on each page and also the Photos app. <laughs> if you guys use this widget, you know that they just take random pictures from your camera roll and put those as like the cover picture and they switch it out pretty frequently. So I don't just have a picture of myself as a widget. It changes all the time. I get a bunch of random pictures, so I'm not crazy, I promise. So yeah, anyways, back to the first page. As you can see, I went with a super cute red and pink Christmas vibe. I love, love how this turned out. This is so my aesthetic. I just think it's so cute. So starting at the top, I have a calendar widget. This is through Widget Smith and I customized the colors. So I did a red lettering with a pale pink background. This widget is really nice because I like to look ahead at different dates and stuff. And it's just nice to have it on the first page because I use this one the most, I think. And I like using the Widget Smith one more than the actual calendar app widget because you can customize the colors and the font and everything and it just looks more aesthetic to me so I think it's really cute the apps on this page are my most used apps that's why I don't have them in folders and stuff so starting with snapchat very serious about my streaks they're very important to me <laughs> so of course snapchat's one of my most used apps and then I have gmail so I have two emails on this app I have my personal email for YouTube stuff and then my school email for school stuff and then of course I have YouTube so then I have the YouTube Studio app. This is a really helpful app for content creators on YouTube. It allows us to really quickly and easily see all of our analytics for our videos, analytics for our most recent video. We can respond to comments really easily and all that good stuff. So it's really helpful if we need to look at something really quickly. What kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't have that app? 
So next to that, I have my Spotify widget. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I am obsessed with Spotify. I'm obsessed with my playlists. I put so much hard work and effort into my playlist, so I'll open that up for you guys. So the Spotify widget shows your most recently played playlist, I think. So I always like to have it on my Holly and Jolly playlist because it matches the aesthetic. <laughs> but I have a ton of different playlists. There's just something about really specific Spotify playlists that I love. <laughs> And I love making playlists, it's so fun. So yeah, if you guys wanna go check out my Spotify, it's always linked down below. I have 959 followers right now, which is kind of a lot for Spotify, I feel like. Um, so thank you guys if you follow my playlists or my account. My fall playlist is pretty popular. It has 185 likes. But yeah, thank you guys for the support. That's really cool. But anyways, moving on to the next widget. I have a picture of the Mean Girls um, like talent show performance just because I think it's funny and it fit the theme. So yeah, I found that one on Pinterest, so I'll put that on the board as well. Also, I didn't really talk about my background, but I just found this one on Pinterest too. It's kind of like a watercolor um, garland sort of thing. I like the pink in the background and I think it's really cute. So I have that as my home screen background and my lock screen background. I can't show you guys the lock screen because I think the screen recording will stop if I do that, um, but it's the same exact one. So, But anyways, moving on to the four apps on the bottom. I'm right. I have Instagram, of course. I have been posting so much on Instagram. I've been really active over there. And I say that as I don't have any stories posted right now. <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot better at Instagram. I wanted to get more active and have like more aesthetic pictures on my feed and just like post more often and i've been doing that and i'm slowly starting to transition into more of like a wintry christmas aesthetic sort of feed if you guys like that sort of content then make sure you go follow me on my instagram here's my username up on the screen right here it's my most recent picture super cute very aesthetic i think I'm probably honestly the only one that thinks my stuff is aesthetic and it's really not. And if that's the case, then that's embarrassing. <laughs> Moving on to Twitter. I have my own Twitter account, but I don't post on it. I don't like interact with stuff on Twitter. I just kind of check in once in a while. So yeah, moving on to TikTok. I do but. have my own TikTok account. I'm somewhat active on it. I try to be active on it sometimes. <laughs> um, sometimes I just like forget about it, but I have like a decent amount of TikToks posted. Um, my username is up on the screen right there so next up is facebook and it's the same sort of thing with twitter i don't really post on it and i also don't promote it i kind of just like have it for family and friends and people i know in real life but yeah i don't post on it like ever but i do stock a lot of pages on it and i follow a lot of pages i follow a lot of random pages like i follow a lot of stuff with my university and then i also follow a trader joe's <laughs> facebook page i like to stay up to date with the new stuff on the bottom part I have my super most used app. So I have Spotify again, the phone app, messages, and then I use Google Chrome instead of Safari. But that's everything on the first page. So moving on to the second page. The first widget on the top left is a super cute picture I found on Pinterest. Again, that'll be on my Pinterest board. I just thought it was really cute and Christmassy, so I put it on there. And then on this page, all of my apps are in folders. I just like the look of it and I don't use these apps as often as the other ones So I don't mind having them in folders and then for the titles of the folders I have like spaces in between each letter because I thought it looked cute and it was aesthetic. So I did that <laughs> Starting with the first folder, this is my money related folder. So I have the wallet app, Chase app, PayPal and Venmo, just anything to do with money is in here. Next up I have the basics folder. So these are all the apps that came with my phone. They're basic apps. I know you don't have to have the apps as actual apps anymore. You can like swipe all the way over and it's like the list of apps, but I don't mind having it in a folder. And I use all of these apps, so I'd rather just have them in a folder anyways. So I have clock, calculator, and settings, and then camera, calendar, and notes. 
notes and then I have photos FaceTime find my friends and then on the next page I have weather app store and files yeah all just basic apps kind of boring and then next up I have the school folder so these are all apps relating to school who would have guessed so I have zoom and then blackboard blackboard is the app that has like all of our grades in it and then professors have like their sections posted so you're part of like your class section so they post like assignments on there announcements you turn in stuff on there and then I have Google Drive and then the bottom three apps are all for my internship so in case you didn't know I have an internship right now so they use Outlook for their mail and then work chat and workplace are actually really cool I didn't even know that these were a thing they're owned by Facebook or I guess it's like meta now but it's like Facebook Messenger but for your company so you only can chat with like the people that work in your company and are in like your group I guess so yeah that's everything for the school folder and then next I have just random stuff the etc folder <laughs> so I have Netflix Hulu and then widget Smith which I use widget Smith to make almost all the widgets on my phone and then I have Motu which is the parking app for Grand Rapids and then I also have Yelp I love looking at Yelp for reviews on like new restaurants or new coffee shops and that sort of thing and then I also have the spin app which I don't really use very often but it's nice to have just in case so I don't know if a lot of other like bigger cities have these but Grand Rapids has scooters that you can rent pretty much and ride around the city and it's actually kind of cool they're terrifying I don't like them at all they're really scary and then I also have Facebook Messenger which I don't use this very often either but just in case and then I also have milkshake which is actually really cool so in my Instagram bio I have a milkshake link and basically it's just personalized cards with links to everything so I have a link to my YouTube channel some recent videos I have links to my Amazon storefront social media all that stuff and I made it using this app which is free and then also in the app you can see like all of your analytics and how many clicks you got in the past week or month or whatever so that's nice for that reason as well and then I also have Pinterest I have been getting really really into Pinterest lately I have a bunch of board so if you guys want to go follow me on Pinterest you can the link is always down below but that's everything in the etc random folder and then below that I have a notes widget um so below that I have a couple more folders I have my shopping folder so this is everything to do with like restaurants places I spend money like that sort of thing so first up I have crumble which I am obsessed with crumble we just got some crumble cookies yesterday the gingerbread cookie amazing um but yeah anyways that's for their like rewards program so that's fun and then I also have Poshmark which I do have clothes listed on Poshmark but I haven't posted anything in a while so then next I have the Chick-fil-a app and then I also have the Etsy app which I do have an Etsy storefront which I do have an Etsy storefront but it's on vacation right now but I also have the sell on Etsy app that's the app for people with storefronts so you can see analytics orders all that fun stuff and then of course I have the Amazon app I do have Amazon Prime and I use it way too often <laughs> Jeff Bezos is getting way too much of my money <laughs> and then I do have the Starbucks app I don't go to Starbucks as often anymore I've been going to local coffee shops recently got to support the small businesses um, but I still have the app just in case and then I also have the magic Links app which is an affiliate marketing company and they have an app to track all of their stuff on and then I also have Target which Target ships stuff out so fast I don't know if you guys know that but I get stuff within like two days and then I also have the Sam's Club app for gas and that sort of thing so yeah that's everything for the shopping folder next up is editing so these are all my photo related apps I have Facetune which I 
just use to whiten pictures, sharpen things. Okay, my camera just died, so if it moved a little bit, that's why. Okay, where were we? But I use Facetune a lot for my thumbnails, whitening stuff in the background and that sort of thing, so I have it on my phone just in case. And then I also have Pixar, which I don't really use anymore on my phone. I use it on my iPad a lot for my thumbnails as well. And then I have Lightroom, which is one of my favorite apps ever. I have my own preset on there, so I edit all my pictures with Lightroom. So here's like a little before and after. I use a very natural preset. It's my own preset, so if you guys want a tutorial on how to make it, let me know. But yeah, the differences between the before and after are always insane. But yeah, anyways, Fonto is an app that you can used to put text on stuff. So I used to use it to put text on my thumbnails, but I don't use it as much anymore. And then I also have Unum, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it's like a photo planning app for Instagram. I'm like way too intense about Instagram, honestly, but I like when my feed looks really nice. So I like to plan ahead and plan my pictures out and stuff. And then I also have LensBuddy. LensBuddy is a self timer app. And then I also have Prequel. This is a nice app to use to change live photos into videos. There's also a ton of different like presets and filters in the app so it's kind of a cool one but that's everything in my editing folder next up I have home these are just kind of a couple random apps these are all like I don't really use them very often <laughs> Um, I have the HP Smart app. It's a printer app for my printer. <laughs> I can print stuff off of my phone. And then I also have the Xfinity app and the Xfinity My Account app because I have Xfinity for my Wi-Fi. But yeah, those are just those apps in that folder. And then I have Travel. I have Waze, Google Maps, and Maps. Those are all like GPS sort of apps. I use them all for different reasons, so that's why I have three of them. And then I have Uber, and then I also have Hopper, which is a travel coupon discount app sort of thing. Yeah, I have that, and those are actually all my folders. And the widget in the middle keeps getting messed up. I accidentally put the weather app on top of the notes app and I can't figure out how to fix it. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave it for now. <laughs> then the last widget I have on this page says have yourself a merry little Christmas. Again, it'll be on my Pinterest board, but I thought it was cute because the top widget is also like a little doodle watercolor sort of thing so it kind of matches the same vibe and then moving on to the last page i swear it just keeps showing me pictures of myself i don't know why anyways <laughs> um over here i just have the weather widget the photos widget and then the clock yeah that's actually everything i have on my phone i'm like so out of breath from talking for so long i feel like but i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you guys got some inspo for how to design your own homepage for christmas and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was on my phone but yeah that's gonna be it for today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out anna luisa and their huge holiday sale Again, all their links and everything will be in the description box down below so you guys can go check out their website, their cute jewelry, and the sale that they have going on right now. And huge shout out and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!